Hi guys, it's Lynn here. I hope you're having an incredible day. Now guys, in this video, I'm gonna to talk to you about aloe black spot, what it could be and what to do about it. Now, I have a bowl of aloes here that I have grown from seed. These are aloe arborescens, quite a lot in this bowl. I'm actually going to be separating these into individual, into individual little pots, um, not only because Th this obviously this black spot on this one here but also because they're outgrown this pot and there's gonna be lots of lots of extra plants to um to sell on in the nursery and this is pretty horrible this is more or less just appeared i'm not quite sure why um but i'm going to give you my reasons why i think this happens and i've also got another one that i've also got to show you here um it might look very pretty lots of little little brown and dark brown little spots all over it but it's not a good sign and I have had this happen with a lot of my aloes in the past and um, I'm going to come up with my conclusion what I think it is this is another one here now this is no, um, commonly nicknamed aloe black spot and it's a bit of an umbrella term for a lot of different type of aloe sort of fungal and diseases that you see on aloe plants it seems to attack um seems to affect i should say aloes and often gasterias i've had it on a few of my gasterias in the past now i've never ever lost a plant to this strange type of leaf spot and they nearly always outgrow the damage as you can see this is the new growth here this one has had this for a bit of a while it started in the winter and the two lower leaves had the little black spots on there it's not got any worse this is the new growth this year so this will eventually outgrow and this will just die back this has recently appeared literally in a couple of weeks on this and it's a bit too much of a coincidence that i've moved this plant onto this new plant stand or these plants i should say in this bowl onto this plant stand. this has just appeared now it's appeared more or less straight after i gave it a very good watering and we'd had a series of very wet damp sort of weather here here in ireland and although it's springtime and the weather's been warm i think the combination of the humidity and the warmth has brought up this strange black spot now i'm going to be taking this aloe out after this video and you know just just literally letting it go back to plant heaven because it's not healthy and i've got a lot of other ones here anyway and it probably fine if I cut it back, it would outgrow the damage, but it's really not worth it. It's, it is not in this case. So that's what I'm going to be doing this one. Now, if the aloe spot wasn't too bad, I would just cut out the damage and let it carry on growing. And I just want to show you here, actually. This is the one. I'm, I've had this happen before. This is um, an old leaf where I had the black spot on this one. And I actually cut it right back completely more or less just from just about a few inches above the stem there was no even leaves on it and it it just caused this to actually multiple um multiple pop out i should say in four different ways into this lovely aloe it is now all healthy all healthy growth not a single spot on it so this actually recovered completely i don't think i've had it on a few of my aloes as well i've even had it on gasterias um I think here a few of them in the past where they have had it and they've just completely outgrown the damage I just cut personally I cut the leaf off or the leaves off and um, sometimes treat it with a little bit of either yellow sulfur or a bit of cinnamon powder and it just outgrows but this is only my experience of black spot if you have it on your aloes and it's only a small like this for example small damage and it's not on every single leaf or completely covered like the other plant I would just literally cut it off dispose of the leaf um, completely and then just wait for the new growth to come up you can treat it with a fungicidal spray if you want to but I find sometimes just just cut it off and let the plant carry on growing and you shouldn't have any problems now this is only that the type of black spot that I have on my plants there's a lot of different plant diseases and sometimes if you're really not sure and it's really quite horrible on the plant you're best to actually you know just get rid of the plant because it's not worth spreading to the rest of the collection personally my experience with black spot on aloe it seems to be localized to the individual plant you know that you could have a load of aloes and it will not spread onto any other ones it just stays on the individual plant and as i say it seems to always happen after i've given it a good water so in my experience i think it's more of a, a damp sort of humidity problem it's a fungus or something inside the plant that this happens 
Now you can go on the internet and check, you know, aloe black spot, and there's lots and lots of different different reasons why it happens. Strictly speaking, there's not any real real reason why it happens. Some people say it's a virus, some people say it's a fungus, some people say it's this, some people say it's a bacteria. Personally, I say this is my experience with this. I think it's a fungus. It seems to be localised to the individual aloe, so it's not necessarily going to spread. It's never killed any of my plants. I've just cut the, le the, the leaf, it's had it on right back down, and the new growth has just come out healthy. And I'm going to cut it off this after this video. Um, if it is very bad, if you have a plant that looks like this, and this has really appeared very quickly, then dispose of the plant. As I say, I could probably cut this back again and it'd probably be okay but i just i just don't want to because i have a lot of this plant anyway and um that's my experience with it now it's a little bit you know probably the nearest thing will be will be like ancanthros if you're familiar with that other type of black spot and you sometimes see this on roses again it seems to be with roses you get the black spot on it it seems to be very just localized to the individual plants so I wouldn't panic. It's not going to spread onto your other type of plants. Um, I have a few people say my aloe, my gastier has very got black spots on what's causing it. And you know, sometimes it may be down to just one of them things. It might be having the perfect conditions and it will still have it. I've seen this aloe black spot on, you know, botanic gardens I have visited here um, in Ireland and the UK and they're in perfect conditions and the plants are beautiful and they've still got this black spot on it. And I just personally don't think it's anything to really you know worry about i think it maybe there's something that brings it up is dampness but there are many different types of plant diseases so as i say this is only my experience of what this looks like here and i always try and make a video and share information to help people if i have you know if i've been through it myself with my own plants because i can't talk about something i'm not familiar with you know i can't talk about something or what i think it is if i honestly don't know and if you have this on your aloes or your gasterias then and it looks like this typical sort of aloe black spot i would recommend if it's not too bad prune back all of the growth where it's got the spots on it and um, if it's spring and summer and you've got able to get a bit of fresh air get the plant out into the fresh air and um, that will help it if it's very bad i'd probably say goodbye to it <laughs> but as i say i had to show you these how they can really recover as an example there where I cut this one back and look at this lovely now so guys that's all I wanted to talk about <laughs> and have you experienced this aloe black spot with your aloes before and if you have what did you do did you throw the plant out or did you just leave it and it recovered um, because as I say I love to hear other people's experiences I'm not an expert on plant diseases so you know if somebody is and they come back and we say Lynn you should you should just throw them away it's going to spread please do let me know <laughs> this isn't strictly a how to what to do video this is just sharing my experience and why personally I wouldn't panic so guys thank you so much for watching and I want to send you loads of love heaps of happiness and tons and tons of plant power as always from across the emerald isle and until the next video bye and if you want to know how to get for cacti and succulents and you're new to the hobby please do check out my website desertplantsofavalon.com and um guys until the next video bye Bye.